right now, Tidy and I just chilling out in the open area. So she's smoking water pine. Hey everyone, got a quick tech review for you today. The Xiaomi Mi Jia Smart Glasses. I'm a big fan of wearable tech and of monocular displays in general. I don't get much so VR isn't really that thrilling for me, but having a usable display in my line of sight has been a long time goal of mine. I was a tester for the original Google Glass, really enjoyed my Wills Explained smart glasses, but still have never found hardware that really did what I wanted. Today, I have the Xiaomi Mi Jia smart glasses, and while I'm pretty sure it won't quite be there yet, I'm hoping that it will be at least bring us one step closer. Let's unbox it and have a look. So before we unbox it, let's see what it tells us, what information we can get from the box. Here it says glass camera, and then at the bottom it says TOE wireland. It's a iComfort certification. It's great to see that. On the back, they're all in Chinese. So this particular unit only sells in China. I, I simply don't know if they will make it available overseas, but for now, let's unbox it and take a look. So it's very typical uh, packaging from Xiaomi. It's very nice, as good, it's almost as good as Apple. Let's start to uh, take out the stuff from the box and see what we've got. So on the top, this is the glasses. Underneath, instruction. And the portable case for you to carry around. So in here, they are, there is a pair of demo lens. And this is the magnetic charger. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to charge the Media Smart glasses first. They use the magnetic charger. And while I do that, I'm going to follow the Chinese instruction on the box and download the app. Now, normally, it would not be fair to compare products released almost a decade apart. But progress is just so slow in the head-mounted display or HMD space that while not fair, comparison is kind of useful. So let's compare some very basic specs. This is the Google Glass released in 2013, so almost a decade old now. 720p video camera, 12 gigabytes of usable memory, 640 by 360 display, and at the time, it cost about $1,500. This is Views Display. It was released in 2019, and it also has a 720p camera, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, a micro SD card slot, 480 by 850 free display and costs about $1,000. The V6 uses waveguide-based see-through optics, so you have something that looks a bit like regular glasses without that little prism in the front. V6, like Google, is an American company, and the US still seems to be on the cutting edge of HMD tech and quite a bit ahead of China. Xiaomi Mi Jia glasses, 32 gigabytes of storage. It has two cameras a 50 megapixel wide angle camera and an 8 megapixel telephoto camera. There is optical zoom and image stabilization supposedly. We'll have to see how that works out. Notably, Xiaomi does not list the resolution of the display anywhere, which in my opinion is pretty shady because it's a key specification of any device like this. Looking through it, I can't really see much improvement in anything but cost, so I'm guessing it's around 640 by 360. And if they don't like that, Get is their own fault for not being honest and providing a number. I'm not comparing battery life or operating time because honestly, it's all over the place 
place and depends a lot on what mix of cameras and display time you have. And the batteries in the V6 Blade and Google Glass are quite old now, so a head-to-head -head test would not be accurate. As you can see, the Xiaomi Mi Jia glasses are quite a bit larger and chunkier than either of its predecessors, but they are also much, much cheaper, about $380. That's a huge price jump, and that's pretty much what Xiaomi is known for. 90% of the quality at 50% of the price. Okay, let me try and set this up so you can see the display. There aren't a lot of fun functions available yet, which is normal for new HMDs. So we're mostly just seeing what the hardware can do. Keep in mind, this only works in Chinese. There is no English language setting yet. All right, I just turned on the Media Smart glasses. Let's see how many apps is on the smart glasses. There is filming function, time trace back. This says uh, it will start to save videos for 10 seconds before you hit record. This is the 3D guy. Uh, this is like a 3D, this is like a instruction for you. And this is the translation. No more, there's only four function. Okay, let's go to tap uh, film. So this right now we are in camera mode. If you slide it forward, swipe it forward and back. And I do feel some vibration while I do this. And if you just tap it, you can take a picture, tap another one, take another picture, move forward, take a picture. And then if you uh, swipe down, it switch to recording mode. And then tap it once. Right now it is recording. You see at the left corner, it shows you it is recording now. So the last function is the Xiao Ai translation. Let's try that. Listening to English. Hey, how are you today? So the Chinese says, Hey, 你今天怎样? What's the weather like today? 今天天气怎么样? Oh, Chinese to English now. 你好吗? 你吃了吗? 您吃了吗? 今天天气怎样? Oh, it's pretty accurate. So uh, I have to switch the function from Chinese to English or English to Chinese. Okay, now these are being sold primarily as a sort of wearable first-person video camera. Let's take them out and see how they do. So right now, Heidi and I just chilling out in the open area. So she's smoking water Oh, 
，虽然我没有吃过这个肉卷啊，它是什么味？但是我觉得这个做的很好。嗯。Okay, this isn't something most of you can buy, or to be honest, should buy. So I won't go into my usual pros and cons. Unless you are a hardware developer, you should not buy this. You'll have a hard time getting them to work outside the Chinese app ecosystem, and if you do, you'll probably be disappointed. The Xiaomi Mi Jia glasses innovate in a very specific and very Chinese way. They bring cost down. Yes, that is a form of innovation. Remember the Model T Ford. Making something cheap enough that more people can afford it builds a user base that just justifies the infrastructure needed to make that product better. More users validates consumer demand and encourages other manufacturers to make even better low-cost version of that product. So even though performance-wise this is a tiny step for 10 years of development. The fact that they are half the cost or so is very important. The problem is that the Xiaomi Mi Jia glasses made the exact same mistakes as the Vuex Blade and the Google Glass. They aren't actually a head-mounted display; they are a head-mounted computer, and their purpose is to trap you in that walled garden of curated apps and feed data from your surroundings to those apps for those companies to monetize. Obviously, as a consumer, it benefits you to have a privacy shutter that can slide over the camera. Having a camera pointed at wherever you point your head opens up a huge range of legal and privacy issues, and is a liability for you and anyone around you. My friend Suchismita Pahi just did a fantastic paper on the subject. I'll link to it in the description box. This hardware, like its predecessors, is designed to turn you into a mobile data gathering tool for the manufacturer, and any utility it provides to you is clearly an afterthought. What we need is simple: a head-mounted display that simply mirrors our phone display, with a camera that simply records or streams video to our phone, as long as possible. Android already supports screen mirroring and external inputs. My use case for an HMD is simple. While I work, I need to be able to watch and pause a YouTube tutorial on whatever machine or task I'm working on. Normally, I do that with my phone on my workbench. It would be much better if I could see it while I work, start, pause, and rewind the video with spoken commands. Likewise, with PDFs, they are up on my phone, but I'd love to be able to see the menu while I work and flip pages. All I need for that is a simple mirror display. One of my little secrets for learning difficult skills like my robot arms or a big CNC machine is I get one of the factory technicians on video checked, point my phone at what I'm doing, and have them walk me through it. If they could just see what I see through my glasses, and I could see and follow what they do through their glasses, I could master new skills far, far faster. And this does not require smarter hardware. It requires dumber hardware. The problem is, it requires hardware that is harder for the manufacturer to monetize, so they keep refusing to offer it. HMD manufacturers, please give us a display, a camera, and a touchpad. That's it. Stop trying to force us into your world privacy infringing garden of poorly written janky apps. Your hardware can do everything we need it. To To right now, if you let it, or at the very least, unlock your hardware so open source developers can make it useful for something other than large scale privacy infringement. It's very frustrating that 10 years later we are still stuck in the same place, with manufacturers unwilling to provide a simple mirror wearable display to consumers, unless they on board to yet another ecosystem that. Chips away at their privacy. It's just not worth it for the limited functionality offered, and probably never will be. 
Okay, those are my thoughts on the Xiaomi Mi Jia glasses. What do you think? Would you want this if they were in English? Do you want a wearable computer? Or do you prefer my idea of a dumb wearable mirror display for the computer we all already carry in our pockets? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.